News continues here on RT. The U.S. says the alleged chemical attack in Syria would be outrageous and a flagrant escalation by Assad if these reports are confirmed. There's still no evidence of the government's involvement in the attack or any confirmation about the number of victims. The pressure on the Syrian government is growing. Well, let's get the details now from RT's Marina Portnaya. So, Marina, we, we've been hearing demands for a thorough investigation into the attack from different sides now. So, what are the allegations? then from the US? Well, the US is saying a variety of different things. Uh, during a press briefing Thursday afternoon, US State Department spokesperson Jen Psaki said that the US has been unable to conclusively determine chemical weapon use and that Washington is working urgently to gather that information. However, in the same breath, Psaki also said that there's no possible way uh, that the Syrian rebels who Washington supports could have been behind the latest round of alleged chemical weapon use. Take a listen. We still believe that they don't have the capability to use chemical weapons. That has not changed. Uh, again, we're looking into the facts on the ground, but there's no reason if there's nothing to hide for the regime not to let the investigative team. Do you know if the UN team is operating under that, those same assumptions that the opposition doesn't have the ability to use these kinds of weapons? Yes. They are. Mm -hmm. So, Marina, where do those assumptions that the rebels can't be blamed for the attacks, where, where are those assumptions coming from? Uh, I'm not sure where those uh, assumptions are uh, coming from because so far we have not heard any UN official make any statements to support what Ms. Saki just said during her press briefing. Yeah. The precise reason a team of UN investigators are in Damascus at the moment is to investigate claims surrounding the alleged use of chemical weapons and who would be responsible for uh, administrating those weapons. As a matter of fact, back in May, uh, Carla Del Ponte, she's the lead investigator of the UN. UN's Independent Commission of Inquiry on Syria. She said her team found evidence that rebel fighters are the ones that may have used nerve agent, the nerve agent sarin uh, in Syria and that it was not used by the Syrian government. Our investigators have been in Syria and in neighboring countries, interview victims, doctors and field hospitals. And in the latest report we got last week, I saw that although there is still no incontrovertible proof, there are very strong suspicions, judging by the kind of medical help the victims received, that sarin gas has been used by the opposition, rebels, and not the country's authorities. But it's not surprising, because militants and people from outside have already infiltrated the opposition. And, of course, that was uh, Mrs. Del Ponte from May. Uh, we don't know how much worse the situation may have gotten uh, in Syria. Now, as of today, Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said that Russia wants a fair investigation and uh, has denied reports that Moscow uh, blocked any type of U.N. Security Council statement on Wednesday uh, when the Council gathered together uh, to discuss the use, the alleged use of chemical weapons in Syria. In the meantime, France is reportedly urging a quote, reaction of force, unquote, if reports of mass chemical attacks near Damascus are confirmed. Moscow says it's the United Nations that uh, decides on the use of force, and so far no country can confirm any reports about uh, the attack victims of any uh, chemical weapon use. So there's a lot of sides to this circumstance, uh, as we've been reporting, and a lot of investigations that are still ongoing. Marina, thanks very much indeed for that. That's our reporter, Marina Portnar, live there in New York.